Welcome to a lesson on evaluating algebraic expressions. To evaluate an algebraic expression, sometimes called a variable expression, the first step is to substitute or replace the given value or values of the variable or variables into the expression. In step two, we evaluate using the order of operations. For review, the order of operations are listed below, where step one, we simplify inside the parentheses or grouping symbols. Step two, we simplify the exponents and roots. Step three, we multiply and divide from left to right. And step four, we add and subtract from left to right. Let's look at some examples. We want to evaluate all the given expressions when w equals two, which means for each expression, we're going to substitute or replace w with two, here, 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 and so on. So the expression w minus six is equal to two minus six when w equals two, and two minus six equals negative four. The expression six minus w is equal to six minus two when w equals two, and six minus two is equal to four. The expression five w minus three is equal to five times two minus three when w equals two. Here we have multiplication and subtraction. We multiply before subtracting. So five times two is equal to 10. So this simplifies to 10 minus three, and 10 minus three simplifies to seven. Here we have w to the third power, which is equal to two to the third power when w equals two. Because the exponent is three, we have three factors of two. So this is equal to two times two times two, which is equal to eight. Next we have three w to the second, or three w squared. So when w equals two, this is equal to three times two squared. Next we simplify the exponents. 2 squared, or 2 to the second, is equal to 2 times 2, which equals 4. So this simplifies to 3 times 4, and 3 times 4 is equal to 12. So notice how for this example, the exponent of 2 is only attached to the w. But our next expression, because 3w is in parentheses, this means 3w times 3w. So when w equals 2, we have in parentheses 3 times 2, and this is raised to the second power. Simplifying inside the parentheses first, three times two is equal to six, so this simplifies to six squared. And six squared, or six to the second, is equal to six times six, which equals 36. Next we have four over five w, and because a fraction bar means division, we can think of this as four divided by five w. But when w equals two, this would be four over, or four divided by five times two. Now when simplifying, a fr now when, simplifying when simplifying an expression that contains a fraction, we simplify as if there are a set of parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we simplify the numerator and denominators first, and then we simplify the fraction or perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. So notice how the numerator of four does not simplify. Our denominator is five times two, which equals 10. So this expression is equal to 4 tenths when w equals two, but this fraction does simplify because four and 10 share a common factor of two. If we divide out the common factor of two, the expression simplifies to two fifths. Another way to show the simplification of 4 tenths would be to write four as two times two and write 10 as five times two. So we can actually see the common factor of two. Two divided by two simplifies to one giving us a simplified fraction of two-fifths. Next, we have 5w over four, or 5w divided by four. So when w equals two, we have five times two over four. Simplifying the numerator, five times two is equal to 10. So we have 10 fourths. Again, we have a common factor of two, which we can divide out, giving us a simplified fraction of five halves. Or again, we can also show the simplification by writing 10 as five times two and four as two times two. We can actually see the common factor of two. Two divided by two simplifies to one, leaving us with the simplified fraction of five halves. And here we have three raised to the power of w. So when w equals two, we have three to the second power or three squared, which is equal to three times three. 
which equals 9. Now let's look at example 2. We want to evaluate AB plus C given A equals negative 5, B equals 7, and C equals negative 3. So we'll substitute negative 5 for A, 7 for B, and negative 3 for C. Remember, AB means A times B. So performing substitution, we'd have the expression negative 5 times 7 plus negative 3. We have multiplication and addition. We multiply first. Negative 5 times 7 is equal to negative 35. So we have negative 35 plus negative 3, which is equal to negative 38. So the given expression equals negative 38 given the value of the variables. Checking on the calculator, we have open parenthesis negative 5 times 7 plus negative 3 which verifies our work. Next we have the quantity a squared minus b squared when a equals negative 5 and b equals negative 3. So we substitute negative 5 for a and negative 3 for b. So we'd have in parentheses negative 5 squared minus in parentheses negative 3 squared. And it is important to have parentheses around these negative bases, which we'll talk about in a moment. Next, we want to simplify the exponents. So negative 5 squared means negative 5 times negative 5, which equals positive 25. Then we have minus negative 3 squared, which equals negative 3 times negative 3, which equals 9. And 25 minus 9 is equal to 16. Before we look at our last example, though, it is important to recognize that if we have negative 5 in parentheses squared and compare this to negative 5 squared, these are different. Here the base is negative 5, so we have two factors of negative 5, which gives us positive 25, and here we have the opposite of positive 5 squared, so the base here is positive 5. So this is negative positive 5 times positive 5, which equals negative 25. So it is important we recognize the difference between these two expressions. And it's also true on the calculator. Notice how if we have in parentheses negative 5 squared, this gives us positive 25. But if we have negative 5 squared, which means the opposite of positive 5 squared, we do get negative 25. Now for our last example, a local window washing company charges $11.92 for each window, plus a reservation fee of $7. We're asked to write an algebraic expression to represent the total cost for the window washing company for washing W windows. Because it costs $11.92 for each window, plus the reservation fee of $7, assuming the expression is in dollars, the expression for the total cost would be 11.92 times W. So we have the cost per window times W, which represents a number of windows, plus a $7 reservation fee. For part B, we're asked to use the expression here to determine the total cost of washing 17 windows. So we substitute 17 for W, which would give us 11.92 times 17 plus 7. Evaluating this expression, we multiply first. So we'd have 11.92 times 17 which gives us 202.64. We still have plus 7. Well, 202.64 plus 7 is equal to 209.64, which means the total cost for washing 17 windows is $209.64. I hope you found this helpful.